Hi everybody, it's Tom here and welcome back to this video where you're going to discover how you can use the AWS Elastic Container Registry, aka ECR, to automatically set up image scanning on push and provide feedback on any vulnerabilities that need to be addressed in your Docker images. And obviously when we're using Docker to run applications, security is a major concern but it can sometimes be easy to forget as we focus first on functionality. So this is a way you're going to be able to use to completely automate this process so that you don't need to think about it so much. So first up, exactly how does ECR image scanning work? And ECR uses the Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures database, or the CVE database, you might have heard of that term before, from the open source Clair project and Clair, C-L-A-I-R, performs static scanning on Docker images, meaning that it happens prior to deployment as opposed to dynamic scanning, which happens at runtime. So here we're scanning images rather than containers, and Clair analyzes each layer of the Docker images and returns vulnerabilities that might affect the image, and these vulnerabilities are then shown to us in the AWS console, or we can fetch them via the AWS command line interface or CLI. And it's worth noting that uh, ECR also offers additional functionality on top of just the image scanning and that is to automatically scan images on pushing to ECR and also we can have an event that's sent to EventBridge when an image scan completes allowing for further process automation. <laughs> So for this example we're going to use an official Docker image called Alpine and it's a very lightweight Linux distribution and as you see here it's less than 5 megabytes in size and this has become a very popular base image for a lot of applications that are in Docker so I thought it would be a good example for us to do some vulnerability scanning against to see how they fare. So first up we're going to be pulling the Alpine 3.10 image locally and the reason I'm choosing 3.10 is because currently ECR doesn't yet support 3.11 which is the latest release and this is the 6th of January 2020. So we're just going to do a docker pull Alpine with the 3.10 tag and now when we do docker images we have that locally. And in terms of pushing to ECR, first off we're going to have to create uh, an ECR repository which is the place that you push your individual Docker images to. And to do that we're going to use the AWS CLI and that's just going to be ECR create repository with a repository name of Alpine and then importantly to enable image scanning on push we set image scanning configuration to scan on push equals to true and that's created a repository for us and if you're familiar with ECR you'll know that the steps in order to push an image to ECR is to firstly log in and then to tag the image with your ECR repository and then to push the image so to log in, we also use the AWS CLI and we run get login with the region, which in my case is EU West 1, and then with a no include email. And then we get a command returned, which we just have to run here. And now we get login succeeded. So now, given that we have this image we need to tag the image Alpine 3.10 with the details of the AWS account and an easy way to get your AWS account information by the way is just to go into AWS console click on your name and go to my account and the information is just at the top here so the format we need to follow is the AWS account ID and then it's .dkr.ecr.region which in my case is going to be eu west one .amazon aws .com, 
and then slash the repository name and whatever tag we want. And now we just need to push the image. So that's just going to be docker push and then this part again. Great, so that's pushed. So what we're going to do now is head back over to the AWS console and take a look at the scan results. And by the way, you can view the scan results with the CLI as well, but for the purposes of this video, it's going to be a bit more user friendly for us just to look in the AWS console. So I've just logged into the console and I'm going to go to services and then under compute ECR. And you can see here that I've got the repository that I created. And within that repository, I've got the image of 3.10. And over here, we can see scan status complete and vulnerabilities none, which is great, which means that the guys over at Alpine Linux have been keeping everything nice and up to date. So that's great, but obviously for the purposes of this video we want to see something with a with a failure. So let's try the same process, but this time with Alpine Linux 3.9, which is a slightly older version. Once again, docker pull Alpine 3.9. And then a similar tag command, but just with 3.9. And then docker push. So let's head back to the console and see what we've got here. So I'm just going to hit the refresh button here. And now we've got the 3.9 image tag and scan status complete and vulnerabilities one high. So I'm going to click on details here and you can see here right now we've got uh, one high vulnerability and it's a CVE with this particular number. And if we click on that, we we get sent over to the CVE database site and we've got a whole load of information about the particular vulnerability here. And in terms of what we should do with this information, there's a bit of information about this over in Docker Library, which is where the official Docker images are maintained, of which Alpine is one. And if you go to the FAQ here, then there's a section uh, entitled why does my security set scanner show that an image has CVEs and in general what they're saying is that CVEs might not necessarily have been addressed and there's a few reasons for that and it might not be considered uh, a real vulnerability or there's not enough time uh, to prioritize this fix over others or, for example, the CVE might be a false positive, so it might be reported as a vulnerability, whereas actually there's no chance that this can actually happen in this image. If we do a little bit of Googling for Alpine 3.9 and this particular CVE number, we'll, we'll quickly find out uh, a issue on GitHub where they're talking about this. Someone's reported the vulnerability, and if we look through this, uh, we'll see Alpine 3.10 is fixed and this issue is still open so it looks to me like this is a case of the 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 people that maintain this image have decided not to make the fix in 3.9 and instead to move on with 3.10 which is kind of what's been mentioned in this FAQ <laughs> So even though vulnerability scanning might not quite be as deterministic as we like, I think there's some key takeaways here. And there's three main points, the first of which is to ensure your application image uses the most recent base image. So in this example, we saw that in the case of Alpine, 3.9 still has reported vulnerabilities, whereas 3.10 uh, looks good. So always make sure to use the latest version of whatever OS base image you're using. Secondly, set up scanning on push, which as you saw is really easy and it means that whenever you push an image to your ECR repository, that's going to get scanned automatically and you can go ahead and check the results. And thirdly is to set up continuous scanning and because the CVE database is being continually updated, it means that 
A scan you do on an image tomorrow might produce different results to a scan that you did today. And you could consider automating a daily scan of your images, for example, using the ECR AWS CLI method, which is AWS ECR Start Image Scan. And in terms of the limits and costing around this that AWS impose, there is a limit of one scan per day per image. Otherwise, a throttling exception is returned. But on the plus side, currently AWS offer all of this for free within ECR in terms of scanning. So it's really a no-brainer to switch this on and enable automatic scanning. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next one where we'll be talking about some other tech topics.